Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Luma Labs AI's Genie. Now, we've made a video about this before when it was in beta and we had to do stuff in Discord, but they just released this officially, I believe, yesterday. So now, if you go to lumalabsai.ai, you can go to this Genie webpage and start generating 3D models. If you don't know what this is, it's pretty much a text to 3D model. And I gotta say, this is probably the best one that I've ever used. So that being said, what I'm gonna do here is just generate some prop assets that I actually need for my Unreal Engine for Fortnite kind of level. So I can kind of show you that right now. I'm creating this kind of escape room in Fortnite and I'm needing some desserts. I already generated some cheesecake, strawberry cake, and a muffin back there. So let me just show you how easy it is to use this, all right? So I'm on this website and I'm just gonna type in uh, Italian Tira Misu, probably butchering that, but this is one of my favorite desserts when we were in Europe. So yeah, All right. So as you can see right here, already generated some for us, and I actually like this one, so I'm gonna click that, and it's gonna say creating interactive 3D model almost there, and I can close this out. So let me go ahead and generate another thing here, and maybe what I can do like praline ice cream and I'll just say create and again it's just going to generate it all right so we have this really interesting praline ice cream in here actually it looks pretty darn delicious so I'll click on this one right here and again this is going to generate a 3d model and I'll just close this out because I'll go to the creations and you're going to see everything that I've generated so far as you can see the oh, steamboat Mickey Mouse is now copyright free so just kind of testing it out to see what it looks like uh, we have our tiramisu right now and here it is, it's actually ready to go. And what's cool about this is I can actually download this low, medium, high. Um, right now, it's for the high version, I think it's 1024 by 1024 as far as textures go. So I'll just go with that. So it's not like too, too high. So it's perfect for Fortnite, if you ask me. Uh, additionally, I'll close this out and let's go to my praline ice cream, see if it's ready. That is ready to go. And it looks like it's still converting. So I'm gonna wait for that. All right, so we downloaded the models and I'm just gonna extract this out. So this is our actual ice cream that I got. So I'm just gonna rename this to ice cream. Normally, well, you can kind of see where I'm going with this. It's pretty easy, quick way to generate some models. And I will extract this one as well because I believe this is our tiramisu. Yep, this is our tiramisu, so tiramisu and normals. Now, the only annoying thing about this right now, as you can see, um, is the naming convention. It's not really giving you the, it's not really giving you a proper, whatever, <laughs> file name for the file. So you're gonna have to rename it because if not, it's just gonna keep overwriting uh, the actual files that you had there originally. So I have to rename it and then extract because if not, it's gonna overwrite it. So here we go. I'm gonna go to my folder now in Unreal. And man, it is simple. And it is as simple as drag and drop. I'll import that here. If you want, you can import the metallic and roughness and stuff like that. But Fortnite, I usually just do the uh, color in normal. Now, while that's loading, you can kind of see all the textures that it's generated. Uh, this one's actually 2K, 2048 by 2048, which is nice. And this one is 2048 by 2048. The normal is 1024 by 1024. That's what I saw earlier. So yeah, the color is actually 2K, which again is perfect for Fortnite. Okay, so here we are in the beginning and let me go to that area. Let's see here. I'm gonna turn this down because it's actually playing on my monitor speaker here. I'll just sprint. I think it's to the right and we should have a, the dining room should be right here. And here it is. Here are the models that we generated. So again, I said the uh, muffin, the chocolate muffin, I generated with Luma Labs AI. And we have the strawberry, and we have the cheesecake. So we have the tiramisu over there, and obviously I'm gonna be generating a lot more than that. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. That's how you can use Luma Labs AI to generate text to 3D models. Pretty amazing stuff. And this is just version one. I can't wait for the future. Give it five years, give it 10 years. What is that gonna look like? Pretty amazing. All right, that being said, thanks for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out. Question, am I a meta human right now? <laughs>